Good morning children. Now we know two properties related to division of whole numbers which are commutative property and closure property. Let us see the other properties related to division of whole numbers. Now let us try to divide three whole numbers. What is 15 divided by 5 divided by 3 equal to? We can group them in different ways and let us see if the answer is the same in both the cases. So first we will group 15 and 3. So let's divide 15 by 3 first. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5 and then we bring divided by 5 down here. Now we get 5 divided by 5 and the answer is equal to 1. Now let us try the other group. So here we will group 3 and 5. What do we get while grouping 3 and 5? We get 15 divided by 3 divided by 5. Now if you know about the reciprocal of division it is multiplication. So it becomes 15 multiplied by the reciprocal of 3 by 5 which is equal to 5 by 3. Now 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So the answer is equal to 5 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 25. So what did we see? We changed the group and the answer was different in both the cases. In one case we got the answer as 1 and here the answer is different which is equal to 25. So what can we say? We can say the associative property does not hold true for division of whole numbers. So in the division of whole numbers the result changes when the grouping has changed. Now let us see division by 1. What is 7 divided by 1 equal to? It is equal to 7. Now what is 4 divided by 1 equal to? It is equal to 4. So what can we say? We can say when we divide a number by 1 the answer is always the same whole number. Now let us see what happens with 0. What is 0 divided by 2 equal to? Suppose you have 0 chocolates and you want to share it with your friend. What does this mean? It means you need to divide 0 in 2 parts. This means again the 2 parts are 0. Correct? So 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0. We can also prove it mathematically. Let's divide 0 by 2. So 0 times 2 equal to 0. So let's divide by 0. So 0, 2 zeros are 0, then 0 minus 0 equal to 0. So we see if 0 is divided by any number, we get the answer as 0 only. So 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0 and 0 divided by 5 is also equal to 0. The answer is always 0. So that was all about division of whole numbers. Bye bye children.